I actually drink every time we practice. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Happy New Year, girls. Happy New Year. Cheers. Cheers. Today we're talking about New Year's resolutions. And I am having tea. And I am not. <laughs> I'm drinking champagne. Come on, it's New Year's. <laughs> I wholeheartedly believe in New Year's resolutions. In fact, I set them every year, but I take a long time to think about them. I take them so seriously that it takes me about a month. And then on the 31st of January, I announce them and I read my journal every year and make sure that I've kept up my part of the bargain. I totally get them. I, I don't make New Year's resolutions, <laughs> but I make goals. So I guess it's the same. Um, I'll make goals for the year and then I'll try to break it down into months. Like, how do I get to that goal? What do I do in January? What do I do in February? And so on and so forth. Oh. You gotta go first, there won't be rest of it. Okay, um, last year was a big year for me. <laughs> so my biggest learning from last year was to believe in work. Because I've told a lot of people about this, but we've been trying to get there for five years and we've been doing IVF and finally last year after like trying before, it worked. And so I just, my, my takeaway from there is like, good things happen. Cheers to that! Yes. Good news <laughs> for you! Amazing. I, I too believe I too believe in miracles. That's so funny. We're such good friends that we <laughs> think similarly. But for me, my biggest learning from last year was to really think through before making a big decision. Because actually, I did the opposite. I thought like, no way could I own a bar studio. No way could I figure out how to fit that into my life. And then the more I thought about it, the more I knew that I really wanted to do it. And I think when you want something, we figure out a way to make it work. So if you say no initially, or you're afraid of something, or you have fear, that is not the final answer. You gotta listen to your heart. The, the truth? <laughs> I sometimes find motivation to be as simple as allowing ourselves rewards really achievable, that was really, really hard. Mm -hmm. It's not always retail therapy, but sometimes just thinking like, oh my gosh, if I do this exercise every day for six days on the seventh day, I'm gonna go buy something free for myself. And that keeps me motivated, honestly. So for me, what keeps me motivated is I love hearing from other people about like, how they are and their stories and listening to other people's stories and just people who are just kicking ass and taking names and just going through their journey. So I love reading books about other people's stories or I are actually even hip shakers. Like I love hearing them say I was able to meal prep today or I was able to lose weight or whatever it is, whatever the wins are from other people, that like fuel. And it's like, oh I'm so glad they can do that, but I can I feel like I can do it. You're still on yourself with champagne. Okay. <laughs> la, 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 la. Well I get upset. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like I'll be like, why? Why does this happen to me? And then after I'm more calm, I kind of, I try to figure out, okay, how can I, is it fixable? Sometimes it's not, right? Is it fixable? And if it is, how can I fix it? If it's not, then how do I just fix that? I, I hear you on that. Challenges pop up all the time. You think something's going to be a certain way, and then it's not. And I try to find the lesson. So it's not always um, easy to do that, but sometimes you have to learn from other people's mistakes. Sometimes you have to learn from your own mistakes 
and figure out how to grow from it and how to make it better next time around. And forgiveness, you have to forgive yourself for not having every answer in every second of the day or you get stuck. So don't get stuck, just find the lesson and move on. I feel like the forgiving yourself is actually the hardest part because it's easy to forgive other people, but if it's something that you did, you know, forgiving yourself is harder and definitely a good lesson. So true. And I also think the world gives you new challenges. And so, of course, you wouldn't know what to do in every single situation. You know, that's what makes life kind of interesting and kind of tough. So if you were a parent to a child, you know, you can't get mad at the kid for not knowing what to do if they've never done it before. But we ourselves, even as adults, you know, we have the same issue with trying to learn just how to be better. And one step at a time, you gotta give yourself credit when you do get the challenges right, too. Don't just harp on the negative. Think about the positive. You go first. Charlene knows. I've been telling Charlene that my favorite dream class to teach is trampoline. It's so fun, it's crazy, you do things that you couldn't do if you were just standing on the ground dancing and you actually, you know, kind of defy gravity, which is really incredibly empowering. I love trampoline. She loves to fly. I want to teach a combination of yoga and dance. So I thought about like a class I wanted to teach and not like so different from yoga yet. Yet. <laughs> but I was thinking I would call it hustle and flow. Oh, I love that! So I'd start with like, you know, a few a dance moves, like a sexy dance, or not not super sexy, but like cardio. And then you'd end it with someday, maybe, maybe this year. Oh, let's set a goal. <laughs> We're setting a goal. Next year, Fit Shake Fitness, you heard it right here. <laughs> Hustle and flow. Thank you for being sleeping by the side. <laughs> if you like it, let us know. I love you. Hi babes, for more dance workouts, you can subscribe to our channel, watch the next video, or click this button to become a member of our virtual dance studio.